light. And uh, so what we've done already is we made the measurements, uh, found where the stud is. It's on the right side, so the boxer is on the studs right here, which I already identified with my uh, Franklin sensor. You can see right there where where it green lights, that's where the center of it is. And as you can see, I've marked that right here. And so this is the stud edge in the center, and then this is the point where I want to drill the hole. So what we're going to do, we're going to run a wire down, connect it up to the outlet. So when the outlet comes on by the switch, it also powers the lamp. All right, so that's what we're getting ready to set up. All right, so let's go ahead and get a, an initial hole in here so that I can kind of see how we're looking. So we're gonna use this to give us a hole in. All right. That's our first hole. Now we're gonna go ahead and uh, get a screwdriver. Okay. Set the camera up here. I think you can, should be able to see. I might have to set them back just a little bit. Hold on, let me see. Okay, does that give me good? Yes, yeah, so we can kind of show what we're doing. All right, so let's just undo this. We're gonna see if it's gonna be, how hard it's gonna to be to drop the wire down into this box. So we're gonna to have to remove the outlet first. Okay, looks like, looks like we might have some strip screws here. So let's have a look. that up where we can drop a wire down that hole straight into here so let's we'll see if we can get this plate that's holding the wires off where I can get access up we want to avoid having to put a whole new box in that's the, the idea here So now we have a little hole there. So what we want to do, I'm going to try to run this wire down. Hopefully I can get it up there. All right. Uh, it's going to be a lot harder to run it down than up because of the, I mean, first I got to see if I can get it through that hole. It's really tight. So let's see here. All right, so we just put the plate back on, we're done. Oh! This one is done. Boom, all right. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, now we're getting ready to set up the next one. As you see, we've already opened this up. I ran the fish line up through the hole right there. As you can see, that comes up to here. And now I want to show a little more detail. All right, so we're going to wrap this around the, the fish line like this. So that will hold it. 
Okay, then we're gonna bring them, start crank pushing them down. So we get through to that hole. Start pulling. Until I, until I get it down. All right, so we ran a, a line up from the outlet here. And uh, now I've got the mounting bracket up with the wires through. I'm going to set this up now, connect the wires and mount it up. All right, let's get a test ball in here. I wish I would have uh, brought balls with me. All right. All right, so let's figure out here. Uh, let's get the, uh, find the stud real quick. And there it is. Mark center and the left side is all I need. And center. Left side. Alright, we're gonna mark that. Alright. Now let's get the measuring tape. lined up and then the studs right there so what I do is uh, mark here where we're gonna be at that's the stud and then we're gonna cut from the stud on over to like right around there so I can find that cord and then so like right about there so we're just gonna cut a square out right about there. All right. Okay. All right, let's get our old multi-tool. Start making the cut. Go. 
So now we got a hole there. It studs right there. About where I want it. Alright, next up. Alright, let's get an extension. Yeah. And uh Box up. Okay. Actually, first I need to get the box out. Okay, like so. Using our square tip. Square tips are the best for uh, for uh, all modern. Um, uh, Screws use these little square tips now, not the uh, um, Phillips. So you can still use the Phillips, but the square is a little bit gives you a better, tighter. Uh, works a little bit better. That's all. That's just on the modern ones. All the modern ones you can use the square. See. Uh, get it in there. Okay. Um, so we want to lift these up. And run the new line onto that one. And we have to get that uh, bracket out of there so that I can run, the, run this fishing line up. Get that wire down here. Go. Boom. Dropped it down. All right. What we want to do next is push that wire up. So we're going to have some room to bring that fishing line up. All right. There's the fishing line going up the hole. We're going to be looking for it at the top of what I can wear cut at. There it is. That's I hear it up there. Oh. Uh, looks like I lost it. Well, I can't stood up. I'll have to run it again until I catch it. Sometimes you got to kind of turn it a little bit to get it to... There it is. I see it. But it's way back there, so we're going to need our long needle nose to grab that. These uh. ain't my giant long needle nose. They had a longer pair. Hmm. Not sure where they went, but this should uh, should get me there. There it is. All right, so let's uh, let's get it there, and then um, just kind of hold it there for a minute. Still. Next up,
All right, so basically, what we want to do now is just wrap tape around the fishing line, the wire. And we're just going to basically bring it on down. Start pulling it down. Start working it down. Pull it through until we get it through that hole in that box, which is really pretty small. It's really hard to get through, but we are gonna we are gonna make it through here. Just a minute. All right, so where are you? So we have to find it. Sometimes they get stuck. So let's see here. wire back okay then what we want to do is uh, run a run some loops there and all right let's get that on there let's loop it on all up and pull that on in all right boom that goes back in let's put the uh, outlet in
by the switch all right there it is so we got that one got that second one there you need to get some balls so there were no balls with the lamps so I'm gonna have to probably uh, 